Now let's talk about the index route. Index routes is most important concept in React Router DOM. As you know, inside this invoice.js file, we use this outlet to display the invoice. So you can notice here inside this result, whenever you click on the invoice, only then you will have your invoice. Until then, you have this blank space right down here. Note when you click on the invoice, the main content area goes blank. So what we have to do is we have to fill this blank space using index route. What we need to do is we need to back to the index.js right here. As you know, we have this invoice route here. Inside this invoice route, I'm going to create another route. I'm going to space over here route, something like this. Close this route component. Here we pass property index. Now this property tells the route that this is a type of index route. Just like that, we space over here element and then specify my own element. So let's suppose if I create here a main component, something like this, and add a paragraph here. Select an invoice. Specify here class names of Kelvin. So I'm gonna say here text center and padding y five. That's upon you. You can create this component inside this component folder. That's upon you. I'm gonna leave everything as it is. Save this file. You can see the blank space is now filled with this component. And now whenever you click on the link, it's going to fill that blank space. And when you back to your invoice again, it will display a message, select an invoice. So you can see the index route fills the empty space. Notice that it has this index property instead of this path property. That is because the index route shared the path of the parent. So this index is sharing the path of this parent route. So here the index is equal to the invoices URL of the parent. The index route render in the parent route outlet at the parent route path. It means this index route is render inside this parent route outlet. Whenever you have your outlet inside your parent route, the index route is display using this parent route outlet with the use of parent URL. Now keep in mind index route match when the parent route matches, but none of the other children matches. So whenever there is a match to the parent index route will automatically call you can also consider this index route as a default child route of the parent route so whenever there is a match to your parent path the index route will automatically execute but keep in mind you only going to have your index route when you have outlet inside your parent component now let's suppose i want to change this display location of this index route i can just move this outlet right from here and then specify that at the top right here save the changes you can see i'm going to have this index route at the top but when i click on the links i'm going to have my invoices at the top so i hope you understand the index routes of the react router dom